Hey, and welcome to another Stellaris modding lesson on the Iron Workshop. In this lesson, we'll learn how to create new civics in Stellaris. Specifically, we will be creating this spongy civic that any empire can use. Let's get started. The first step in creating our new civic is to create a mod file. Now I have a separate video for that, so please check it out. I'll have a link to that in the upper right corner of the screen. So go ahead, create your mod file, and then proceed to step number two, creating file and folder structure. In step number two, we will be creating the file and folder structure, basically putting all the files that the mod needs to create our new civic. So let's go ahead. I'm going to open two folders. The first folder is going to be the folder of the mod that I created in step number one. I called it new civics, but if you call it something else, that is totally fine. So I'm going to open that. And I'm also going to open the root uh, folder of Stellaris, the base game folder. And you can find that in program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Stellaris, if you are using the Steam version of the game. And from here, we need to recreate some of the folders that exist in the base game. So the first folder we're going to create is the common folder. So let's go ahead and create that inside the folder of our new mod. So common. From inside the common folder, we will need a folder called civics. And that one is located inside a folder called governments. So we will need to create this one as well. Now, please make sure that you're creating this inside of the common folder. Okay, so we'll go in here and then we'll go in here. And in here we have civics. So we will copy this one as well and create it. Good. And from this folder, I'm going to copy one of these files. Now, it doesn't really matter which one you copy, but if this is your first time creating civics, you might want to copy the same file that I'm copying. So I'm going to grab this file and I'm going to copy it over to my mod and I'm also going to rename it. So I will call it new underscore civics. All right, now we'll go back to the starting folder of our mod and we will create a couple more folders and I'll do the same for Stellaris. Now the next folder that I need is the GFX folder, which will be responsible for the icon of our new Civic. So I will create that one. And then here we also have a GFX folder. From inside the GFX folder, I will need the interface folder. So let's go ahead and find that one. Interface, here it is. I'm going to recreate it in my mod as well. From inside the interface folder, we will need another one called icons, which is right here. So I'm going to recreate it as well. Inside the icons folder, there's a folder called governments. So I'm going to copy this one as well into my mod. And inside of that one, we finally find the civics folder. So I'm going to create that inside of governments. And I'm just going to copy one of these files so that I have a template to create the icon for my new Civic. I'll take the first one and I'll put it in here and we'll take care of this file a bit later in renaming it. All right, now let's go back to the starting folder of our mod and we'll go to the root folder of Stellaris and we will need one more folder called localization. And if we were to look here, we have a folder called localization. So let's go ahead and create this one as well. And from here, we will need the English folder. Now, obviously, if you're creating this for a different language, then go ahead and use the correct language. I will use the English folder. And from the English folder, we will need one of these files. It doesn't really matter which one, but again, if this is your first time, you may as well take the same file that I am taking. So I'm going to grab this file and I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to rename it to new civics. Now, when you are renaming localization files, it's very important to have the suffix the same as it is in the base game. So in here, you see that every localization file ends with underscore L underscore English. And you have to have that in your new name as well. Otherwise, your localization will not work. 
So I will add underscore L underscore English. There we go. And uh, that's it. We've finished creating our folder and file structure. Very good. And I will minimize this and this. And we can proceed to step number three, which is to create our new civic entry. Okay, so in step number three, we will be creating the entry for our new civic. So let's go ahead and open our new mod folder. We'll go to the common folder, we'll go to governments, civics, and I'm going to open this file that we copied. Now this file contains all the base game civics right now. We are going to have to clean it up a bit and leave only our new civic in here. So the first one that we have in here is the civic Corvey system. So let us keep this one and just remove all the other ones. Now how do I remove the other ones? You will notice that every civic in here has this opening bracket and the closing bracket. So everything that I want to remove I will be removing between its opening bracket and closing bracket. So for example if I want to remove this one I will have to remove this whole section. So let us do that for all of these civics. So I'm going to hold the shift key on my keyboard and I'm going to scroll all the way down to the end of this file, just like this. And I'm going to press backspace. So we now have only this one civic remaining. So I'm going to rename it to civic, civic spongy, just like that. Excellent. And now in here we have a couple of things. Now there is this section up here that explains how these civic entries are built. And you can definitely go ahead and use this as tips to modify your civic. You don't have to actually keep this in the file, you can remove it as well. But obviously it's a good thing to keep for reference. So for now I'm going to keep it in here and let's see what we have in here. So the first thing that we have is the civic ID. This is the actual code that the game recognizes this civic by, right? We have localization later, which is how the player sees the name of the civic, but this is the actual ID, the code of this civic. Next, we have a description, and in here we have something that is called a localization key. So that tells the game that in order to find the text for the description of the civic, you have to find this localization key, which is usually inside one of the uh, localization files. Great, next we have something called a uh, potential and you see here that potential it says requirements list C readme requirements. Basically what is required for this civic to be shown, right? So that it appears. And as you know, when you pick certain traits for your new empire, certain civics might disappear and others may appear. So this basically controls what makes this civic appear. Right now, for the purpose of this lesson, I'm going to leave it as is, but obviously you are welcome to play around with it and try different things. So the possible parameter tells the game if the player can actually uh, choose this civic, click on it in order to use it or not. So again, you can try all kinds of combinations in here. You can take a look at other civics. Maybe there's a civic that you already like and you would like, and you would like to make something uh, similar, so you can copy the possible aspects of that civic. Great, next we have random weight, and in here you see that it's a scriptable weight for randomizing a civic required, else the civic will not get assigned randomly. So if you want this civic to be a, a random civic, you should put this thing in here. I'm going to leave it as is, and, and we will definitely make it a, a random thing. Next we have a modifier. So you see that uh, the, this current modifier gives us pop growth from immigration. But if I wanted to put something else in here, I can definitely do that. Let's open the original file and find another modifier to use in here. So I'm going to go to Stellaris, Common, Governments, Civics, and for example, I can go in here and I can actually search, for example, Let's see, uh, I want a happiness, right? So we have a modifier here for pop citizen happiness and I can just copy that and put it in here and that will make my pops much happier. Great. 
Now, another place where you can find all of these modifiers is the modifiers wiki page on the Stellaris wiki. And I will have a link to that in the description. So go ahead and check that. In there, you will find the full list of modifiers that you can apply for these civics and also other aspects of the game. All right, so basically our civic is done and we can save it. And now we only have to take care of the graphics and the localization. So let's proceed to our next step, which is to create our civic icon. All right, in step number four, we will be creating our new civic icon. Now, I won't be putting much of an effort into it, but you are welcome to create some really awesome icons. Now, in order to create my icon, I will be using a program called paint.net. If you don't have it, there will be a link in the description of this video to download it. So go ahead and do that in order to proceed with this lesson. So let's see what do we have to do in here. I'm going to open my mod and I'm going to go to the uh, first folder, the root folder of my mod. Then I will go into the GFX folder, interface, icons, governments, civics, and there we are. Now currently this icon has the name of a different civic. So what we need to do in order to associate our new civic with this icon is to just give it the name of our new civic. So my new civic is called civic spongy. So I'm just going to rename this file to civic spongy. And now the game knows that this icon is responsible for that civic. Excellent. Now let's open paint.net. And I'm just going to grab this file in here and I'm going to open it. All right, so that is the icon that we currently have. Again, I won't be making as much of an effort in here. I just want to change it a little bit so that we can see a difference. So I'm just going to do something like this. Okay, it's going to be spongy like SpongeBob. And maybe we'll give it like a creepy uh, smile so that uh, we know that it is SpongeBob smiling at us, something like this. All right, so that looks okay. Now let's save this file. So I'm going to go to File, Save, and you will have this window opening. No need to change any settings in here. Just click on OK and our new file is saved. Excellent, I can now close paint.net and we can proceed to step number five, creating our civic localization. Okay, now let's go ahead and create our localization. Uh, the localization will take care of the text that will appear uh, for our civic in the game. So I'm going to open the folder of my mod, I'm going to go to the root folder, the first folder, and I'm going to go into localization and English and new civics. So let's open this file. Now this file currently is very full. We've got a lot of stuff in here and we don't need all of this, right? So we'll have to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to keep the first line in here. I'm going to keep it as is. I'm going to put my cursor on the second line. I'm going to hold the shift key on my keyboard, drag this thing all the way down, backspace, and our file is now much cleaner. Next thing that we're going to do is to change this line in here before the colon to the name of our new civic. So our new civic is called civic spongy. And that is exactly what I'm going to put in here. And of course, I will change the localization in here between these quotation marks. This is what the player will actually see in game. So I just want to name this spongy like that. Okay, very good. Now, another thing that I may want to do is to give my new civic a description. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to create a new line and I'm going to type the following. I'm going to type civic underscore spongy underscore D-E-S-C short for description. Then I'm going to put a colon zero space and in here I'm just going to type some kind of a description and these, these people are very yellow and spongy. Excellent. All right. Now one more thing that we can put in here is some kind of a special text for the effect of our new civic, right? So on top of the description, you can also put something like this civic spongy underscore effect 
and for example uh, being yellow being yellow and spongy makes our people happy all right very good now this will not show up unless you do change this in your civic entry you see that here in the description it says civic corvi system effects right so we will need to take this thing and put it in here so that we tell the game that it goes into this localization entry in order to put the effect okay we're going to save it the description is going to show up anyway i know that this says description but we're actually putting the effects so it's a bit confusing but the description always shows up and this is some kind of an additional thing that you can put for the effect all right so our new civic is ready and we can just go ahead and test it in the game so let's go ahead and do that all right so let's go ahead and test our new civic and see if it works i'm going to start stellaris i'm going to go to play sets make sure that my mod is activated we actually don't need this one and let's see what we got all right so as you can see we have our spongy civic and we have our effects but we are missing something we are actually missing the description so let's see why that happened so if we take a look at the localization file you see that here in the description i forgot to put the quotation mark at the end so I'm going to do that and that will fix my description and of course you should do the same if it doesn't work for you. But aside from that we are finished, we have our new Civic and that is all you need to know about creating new Civics in Stellaris. Thank you very much for watching, if you encountered any issues, if something didn't work for you please let me know in the comments and I will do my best to help you. If you found this video helpful please give it a like so that others can see it as well. Subscribe to the channel to be notified on new modding tutorials when they're posted and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.